India, in fact, is recognized as one of the leading players in the global economy. And in the years to come, it is expected to jump in higher in terms of its rankings. Uh, what do you think or in your view are the advantages that India has compared to, the, to some of the other economies in the world? Well, each country has its own strengths and its own challenges. <coughs> we have embarked on the path of economic liberalization about two decades ago, and much has changed. Today we have presence of global majors in different fields, ranging from automobiles, information technology, also in uh, agro-processing sectors, chemicals. At the same time, the Indian corporates have not only grown in confidence and size, but they have a global presence. There are many multinationals which have emerged out of India who have made investments, technology collaborations across continents, whether it's in Europe, in Americas, Latin Americas. So this is a partnership which India has been able to demonstrate it is capable of building, both in the, within the country, between the industry and the government, but also uh, with other countries or vibrant economic regions. India's strength inherently is A, its human resources. We are 1.2 billion people, a civilizational country, but a young nation, the median age of 23, 24. So for decades to come, India will be not only producing and utilizing quality human resources, but these are global resources. Because as manufacturing grows in India, as productivity improves, the contribution that Indian citizens will be making will be to the global economy, besides our own development. Now, we have a very strong institutional base. We are strengthening the design institutions, building up <coughs> four more national institutes of design compared to the fact that we had only one earlier. We are also establishing more national institutes of science, the institutes for mathematics or information technology. So it's all happening. So India already produces perhaps one of the largest number of engineers and doctors in the world and a pool of trained people is constantly growing and expanding. That is a focus and thrust for us. So when you look at what India has, its economy, its institutions, its people, that always is the biggest strength of a country. Of course, we have our challenges, challenges which we have sought to address by improving the environment. As a young nation, uh, we are an aspirational society which has the capacity to grow and ability to engage. We are today one of the favored destinations for foreign direct investments. If you look at all the recent surveys and reports from World Bank to IMF, uh, to the JBIC of Japan, the KNA consultants, so India is put between second and fourth position. So if you take an average, we are the first three destinations. And the future projections are that India will be the second uh, favored destination for foreign investors. I think that speaks volumes of the confidence that other countries and industry leaders have in India, its economy and its future. So I, I feel that a country uh, which is so well positioned in the second decade of the 21st century will grow from strength to strength.